Well, hello, Kingsman. Welcome back to another Napoleonic Total War 3 battle. I know it's been a second, um, but, you know, I will never forget the NTW3 replays. Because I'm sorry, but these battles are glorious and uh, always changing. Today, I have a 4v4. Um, this one is a part of a tournament that happened a while back. I grabbed bits and pieces, some of the replays from it. Um... I glanced at the players, so one side will be the IZ, which I honestly, I used to know what this stood for. Totally forgot, um, and facing them is the H&R. Uh, so this is on Bohemia 2. Um, as you can see, there's a 12-point Udino in the very front here, so their highest point is high, like way up in the front next to the enemy. Or do we see a UK Cav, which was scouting looks like some of the hussars scouting out shasters of all scouting and the th what reason i grabbed some of these replays guys is because the tournament battles high stakes and really good players um i saw a lot of really good players on this replay so i'm really excited to see how it goes um who takes the win now the french have an interesting uh not interesting but they have a difficulty to overcome their reinforcements are strung along a road now the good part is the road makes it to where they can rapidly reinforce this front position um but uh deployment zones looks like we have the nine point uh russia austria um looks like we have either it's a seven or a six point like uh it's like the uh h and r or gosh can't talk um helder slash uh hre and then another UK. So, but they all start very close. Two of them start right here. So 12 point Udino is going to have their work cut out for them when it comes to uh, facing the enemy. And he's not sitting back. When I played a battle with this, guys, I s sat right here and didn't advance because I honestly didn't feel confident enough in doing so. But you can see he's pushing up with some of his line infantry here. Let's see, what do we got? Just, so, just 37, the 37th. Yeah, all the 37th at Combat Gen. They're supported by some Chasseur, Cheval, and some Dragoons, some Swiss Dragoons. So they are going to be pushing up, um, maybe getting a forward position, maybe getting very aggressive and trying to burn some of the UK troops that may try to get too close. Um, we do have, of course, a light infantry. These guys cannot form a square. Um, I think I would have the 6th the, the sixth infantry in the line in the back, just in case... You know, cab issued out of the woods, but they have cab supporting it, so actually, they're totally fine there. Um, and let's look at the other factions here. So, that's the rest of the 12 point France. We have a 10 point Ney bringing, ooh, and also um, a 8 point Imperial Guard, as well as a um, 6 point. This is like the Bravaria, I do believe. Yeah, Bravaria, which I love. Cab's not as good, but. Um, Oh, yes. The Imperial Guard, they are bringing Ladue. This is a very, very mighty, very formidable, very beefy cab unit. Very expensive. Very expensive. Looks like Mortier. They're bringing, probably bringing not Napoleon, but bringing Mortier so they don't have to pay as much for the general. Um, Napoleon is like a ton of money. And what the Imperial Guard is bringing is some Chasseurs, Cheval, one or two line infantry. Looks like they have some of the Grenadiers, some Fusiliers. Um, of course, you have to bring a Grenadiers as the Imperial Guard. Looking very amazing. Um, and then, yeah, Bavaria's last. Now, Bavaria, they have some good light infantry. Um, and they have quite a lot of it. Wow. And then light infantry. For a six-pointer, they can actually bring quite a lot. Um, I love Bavaria for that. They bring large amounts of infantry. They can kind of be uh, that meat shield in a way. Uh, skirmishers as well pushing up. I think Bavaria, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I think Bavaria has some very good lights. Light infantry, skirmishers, that sort of thing. That's where their strength lies. And actually, they have some really good, like, it's only, you can only have a few of them, but like some expensive top-tier line infantry that have some crazy good stats. Alright, so it looks like Udino is pushing forward his troops. Chasseur Cheval, um, kind of screen, not really screening, but they're kind of being the anti-cav force. We are getting a view of the UK who are pushing into the forest here. They have artillery pushing up. It looks like a Portuguese artillery piece, possibly a six-pounder. Um, you are seeing a lot of Russians pushing up as well. 
Russia can bring a good mixture of uh, Russian and Austrian troops. Um, I think most of their Austrian troops are in the 50s, 60s, and 70s when it comes to reload skill, which is how fast they can reload and fire again. So very deadly. If you bring a couple of those and put them on your Russian line, and the Russians have some pretty good melee stats, usually 13, 14, or 15 for the attack. Uh, I really like playing, as you can't tell, uh, 9 point Russia or the 9 point Russia Austria. Um, UK, of course, I mean, you've heard what said the machine gun. They have such crazy accuracy, and their reload skill is unimaginably fast. Um, so, France is going to have their work cut out for them. Granted, these light infantry are pretty good when it comes to the stats as well. So, you know, maybe they will be best pitted against the UK. But there's only three of them, and they are rather beefy. Uh, UK tend to not be as large. In fact, the UK, if you see a unit that is huge and it's a UK unit, it's the Coldstream Guard. So beware, because that is a very formidable unit. A massive UK unit is very dangerous. <laughs> Because uh, there's only a few of them that can actually be brought. But you know, it does have very chunky units. Um, so if anything, he's going to be able to hold against the UK a lot better. Artillery is already firing. Um, I can't tell which side. Oh, we have some, we have some six-pounders. They're really far back. It looks like Ney is going to take the left flank for France. Um, they have calves screening all the way up to this one pointer here. So they are preparing for the worst here of a potential flank something that I, you don't always see in battles and i even am pretty bad at it is scouting it is vital to scout out the enemy positions use hussar chasseur cheval those quick moving units c7 c8 actually i don't think it's chasseur cheval is it? no there's some c8s i think um lancer c8 yeah you want them because they actually have a wider field of vision they can see much further and obviously they have seen this entire you know um, I'm just gonna call them, um, uh, what's it? Oh, I'm blanking. Subrov. I'm just gonna say Subrov, because that's the mixture in here. And you can see the Grenadiers they are bringing. So, Subrov rolling down this road for that flank. They're gonna have a, they have a lot of Grenadiers they can bring for pretty cheap. Um, but they can bring a lot of line infantry musketeers. Not the greatest, but, uh, looks like we have some cab maybe getting aggressive here. We'll see. I... We'll see what happens here. This is a very large field. A lot of good cab play that can happen here. You can see we have some Kazaki, um, some Cossack Lancers here rushing forward. Um, they have very good shock resist. So they can take a blow to numbers when going to charge and manage to hold their morale for a little bit longer. Um, a very good thing that we do. Let's see. We have some Chester Cheval pushing up and very aggressive. Maybe goading these hussars into charging out but it does not work both sides kind of this is kind of this is the this is what i like about the cav engagers guys especially skilled players they legitimately will just like go to each other you run towards the enemy then you pull back you're trying to go them into throwing their forces forward and then you run cap and flank now i do see a lot more coalition cav present this crossroads is taken by suvrov they've already set up they've secured it um roads are actually rather important when you're working with your allies a road that can connect so that your men can march rapidly along oh juicy hit by the horse artillery though oh my gosh this is such a mass suvrom needs to demassify this because this is a juicy target um looks like they had some of their grenadiers probably the squareable ones these guys you don't want to throw away i love the hats though oh it looks so amazing very very awesome our horse artillery is also a very very beautiful thing to have uh depending on your play style horse artillery shouldn't be just stuck in a line and just left there you want to move them around you want to get around the flank you're just trying to find a chink in the armor and fire cannonballs through it so that's exactly what they're doing see they're already limbering up again either because they know that the enemy are going to advance or maybe they're going to push their artillery up to here maybe and fire some more uh, they are rapid, the most, the fast, fast artillery. So you can move them around, um, get a flank. You can even roll them like all the way over here and just fire across on the flank and force them to peel something over to deal with it. Then you can limber up and run away. <laughs> as long as you have cav support, of course. But yeah, they're going to push them forward. That's exactly what I would do. I feel like this, this whole battle is turning into me explaining like the best tactics and maneuvers. Um, that's okay, you know, that's okay. Uh, I, I just, oh, hold on. Hold the thought. Looks like we may have some 
skirmishers, some smoke drifting. I don't know if these grasshoppers are the ones firing. Or if the light infantry is firing. Oh, artillery is just taking a man out. Man. Man down. You know what I think happened? These light infantry advanced. Skirmishers volleyed them. Took out maybe about eight guys. And are going to force them to fall back now. Um, who knows what is in these woods, guys? You don't know. Who's in these? Are the Prussians in the woods? The Prussians magically appear? No, I'm just kidding. They don't. The Prussians aren't here. All right. All right, so Udino is pushing out into this field. This is actually, I'm very excited because usually the fight happens over here. And to see the fight happening over in this area, um, initially, in potentially a huge fight over here, although Suvorov has totally fallen back. The horse artillery has pushed up quite a lot. Um, Bavaria is pretty far behind. Their infantry are very slow. L2s. L3, I mean, they're, they're not going to be as fast as the rest of the French who are like L4. And Imperial Guard is pushing over to the left side. The Bavaria is going to be... Uh-oh. Horse artillery. Horse artillery, no! The one thing you have to be very cautious of. They're not getting away, guys. The horse artillery, unfortunately, got burnt. And maybe they will recover. Maybe. No. Well, maybe. They'll still recover. Oh, my gosh. This is a ton of forces rolling down this road. Wow. We have the UK advancing. You, I saw it back there. You saw some chunky UK units. I know I saw them. Um, advancing as well, and my goodness, very aggressive as it is. Um, but well, 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 does appear that we have some more cav now shifting over as there was a huge engagement here. Hussars taking on uh, some of those those lancers here, uh, and now we have some lancers v lancers. Although the UK may try to get a flank with their horse guard, so this is some heavy horse. I think some C4. Possibly, and not the explosive. Uh, but C4, so the very, very deadly cav. UK can bring them. Um, France looks like they are pulling back. Udno is pulling back here, and I think we know exactly where the coalition plans on focusing. We have at least two factions here, um, potentially three, because there's some Austrian Russian units here. So that is why Udno is advancing. The ruse has been discovered, guys, and uh, all the rest of the Imperial forces are going to focus over here. Udino can push forward, take this three-pointer, and push back the UK, because the UK, I believe, are by themselves. Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they're definitely by themselves. You can see Russia's in the center here. This is why scouting is so important, guys. And we do have some Cav charging forward. They're going to go for the guns. Can they make it? Square has been formed. Oh, they're going to hit a square. He's going to fall back, cut his losses, and save his cav. They don't have any cav defending um, their artillery. That's interesting. But Russia now, I think, is trying to spring a trap of their own. Um, oh, no. These guys can't form square. And they know it. Now... <clears throat> This is Hussars. I know that's a very obvious thing, but Hussars against infantry isn't usually the greatest thing, especially against such a chunky line infantry of 130 men. You're not going to inflict a lot of losses. France got goaded into throwing away their Chasseur Cheval against a Russian square. Um, and oh my gosh, Suvorov is just pushing at this massive angle with all of their troops. Do you see this? Look at this. They are going at a slant here. Straight for Udino, and uh, France is having to throw some reserves. What a beautiful maneuver by the coalition here. And you can see now the Russians are going to try to hit this line as quickly as possible. Throw forward their guard. Oh, the guard. Russia's throwing in the guard. A very, very, very good unit. And looks like they're sending up some of their cavalry guard. And their general, so you know they mean business, guys. They are focusing this French line. France is falling back immediately. 
Um, the French are calling for reinforcements, and the Grenadier Cheval are rolling to the front here. Try to save this line. France actually seems to be disentangling himself rather well here so far. Um, they have managed to hold on. Hold that thought. Do we have some cav engaging here? Oh my gosh, we have a huge fight here. Oh, some Swiss units in front. Oh, what a unfortunate series of events. But they are engaging in the forest here. Do we have some line of tree fighting? Yes, Swiss Renadiers in against the UK. Don't know how well this is going to go for them, though. There's a lot of flanking UK troops. It's going to be a painful... Oh my gosh, there's so much happening. Dragoons, Swiss Dragoons in line of street trying to throw themselves into melee. At the same time, over here, France seems to disentangle themselves just ever so slightly. We do have the UK pushing up against France. France trying to reform that flank. They are going to hold this forest. Um, the same, oh, a huge charge by the Crossiers. UK forming a square here. It is just total pandemonium. France is getting thrown back. I think they may have char went full on head on against the UK, which is actually rather a bad idea. They're going to shoot you to pieces as you're trying to charge. I'm not sure I missed it. Um, but France it looks like they're a little disorder here. Oh, what is going on? I don't even know, guys. Grenadier Cheval are shifting over to this side i mean oh man so much happening france has managed actually to get a flank on um suvrov look at this they're pushing up some of their polish legion we do have line of tree nope just infantry pushing up to fight here's that chunky uk unit i guarantee you these are like cold stream guards and elites very dangerous very deadly do we have more? Yep, Suvrov going in against... Okay. Imperial Guard. So... Men are running for. Uh, these guys can probably hold. They're going to push back some more of their chasseurs so they get some of that beautiful firing and accuracy. They're going to disentangle themselves from that wood. They need to be able to see what's happening here. Um, France is just getting just obliterated here. You can see that flank. They do have artillery set up. Beautiful position to kind of drive back the enemy. Over on this flank, I think France has been totally defeated and uh, even cav wise they are getting just destroyed they're trying to use all this cav to protect their flank Udo knows got to fall back these this yeah these guys can form square i don't know what they're going for but that's another square polish has a lot of squares here france not going to do too well thankfully bavaria is showing up here to maybe save the imperial guard on this side, it is a shooting match, and the UK are in this fight, so they honestly probably want this. They want to have a shooting match with the French, and the French probably don't want to necessarily shoot them. Now, they are bringing a lot of Portuguese. Um, those guys have to stand fast while the UK focus down... Oh, man. They had to focus down the rest of the French. Now, we do also have Suvrov going in once more on melee against Ney. Imperial Guard have managed to fall back. In fact, France is falling back on all fronts here. Um, man, France just... Udino went right into that forest, and I don't think it worked out at all for them. Forest battles are a tough thing to try to fight. And now look at the length of this battle, guys. It's all the way from here, stretching all the way to here. Suvrov has gone quite far compared to the other troops they gotta be careful here they have a lot of grenadiers but the imperial guard is just gonna shoot them to pieces and is counterattacking. now we do have nay pushing back on this side i mean honestly that is the best thing they could do right now they need to fall back against the uk and maybe try to close in with melee imperial always a wise choice to get into melee they are actually hurting a lot of suvarov troops here there's a lot of Gretons getting focused down here. There is some of the horse now charging Ney's line, trying to break them to pieces here. We have some brave Chiliers trying to fall or drop as many UK troops as possible here. They should fall him back unless he's sacrificing them. But things are not looking very good for the Imperials right now, guys. They have artillery, though, set up, hopefully in a good position. This is madness.
Look at this madhouse. Both sides have thrown in quite a lot of cav, guys, too. Um, more cav potentially pushing up as well. You know, I see a lot more cav, like a lot of really good cav that Austria-Russia has brought. And I think they did not bring a lot of infantry. They are focusing on good Dragoons. Oh, Bavaria, though, standing their ground. Grenadiers receiving a charge from Suvorov's Grenz. They have a flanking line here. They are going to fall back, though. They need to make some distance to the coalition and try shooting them as they're trying to rush across this field, especially Suvrov. Suvrov's going to want a bayonet charge. Ney is trying to do a tactical retreat and actually he's managed to disentangle himself quite well um, from the UK without getting punished too heavily. Our general is under attack. France is holding on this side against the UK. UK actually could start taking heavy losses. Artillery focusing them down. These are small units for the UK. Um... Oh, this poor light infantry is going to get volleyed. But they are being outflanked massively. Massively outflanked. UK are seeming to be pointing. They want to hit this area here. And they just keep going in for bayonet charges, guys. They just constantly rolling forward here. Subrock already in this line. Bavaria. Oh, they're going to try to get a juicy volley in the flank if they can beautiful shot unfortunately musket bug or something i don't know oh that was a beautiful volley more cav charging in guys this is what i love nw3 look at the chaos here what a charge by the dragoons from the imperial guard and now they're gonna disentangle themselves they don't want to get back charged by the horse guards I think it's hard it's horse guards. Oh my gosh, Suvrov is just. This is a madhouse. Russia bolstering that charge. Wow. Look at the fight being waged here. Bavaria is fully involved in this fight here. France even charging him with some grenadiers trying to break. More Grenadier Cheval now throwing themselves in, just trampling Suvorov. UK trying to keep pushing that flank forward. Oh man. Can Suvorov hold this or can Bavaria hold this? There's a lot of red lining from the coalition. This could cause a mass route. Heavy Cab now throwing himself forward, trying to break this line. Can they do it? Can they make it? Sorry, I realize I'm probably speaking really loud. I'm probably yelling in your ear. I'm just getting really excited. <laughs> this artillery is like, just like, oh, say the word, and we'll fire canister. We're waiting. Oh, look, they're putting up another general to probably try to get a rally, try to inspire these men. They could, they may just mass route the coalition here. Oh, it is so close, guys. Bavaria is holding just barely over here. France is counterattacking, and it seems to be working, sort of. Grenadiers have thrown themselves up taking on cavalry the uk still trying to push this flank forward um no one seems to be crumbling yet on that side bavaria has to hold the center guys they have to hold it i mean everything depends on it the uk are going to definitely win this side i think oh but here the roll of musket fire the artillery firing i suspect some cavs gonna go for this artillery they need to force it back bavaria has some line infantry in the front line still against some heavy cab and Suvorov's grenadiers and they break. Look at the slaughter here. Bavaria oh, has a combat gen in here. Uh oh. Oh, enemy general has been what? Ow. The UK threw their gen a little too close and now they got sizzled. They got burnt. They are still doing well on this flank, but man, their gen just died. And that is a huge loss. We have some Fusiliers. I think they're going to volley. Oh my gosh. They are just dealing with that Russian guard. Oh, here we go, Dragoons. Just waiting for them to form square or get out of square and hit them. They are not only hitting the Russian guard. They are hitting heavy Russian cav. Bavaria somehow props to Bavaria. They held so well 
Granted, they had some heavy losses, I think. But they held that line against a almost impregnable... Like, it, I thought the Coalition was going to take it. They threw back the Coalition in a beautiful feat of uh, counterattack. I guess that was a counterattack. You can see the UK getting just obliterated by this artillery. More artillery from Bavaria now able to fire here. And they are going to definitely be firing down this direction. They have a nice gap to fire through. France has their Imperial Guard to kind of bolster the morale of these Bavarian units. The Coalition, they are going to stop attacking probably in the center. They are going to try to carry this flank forward. This flank is where their chances are as both flanks, actually. Um, yeah. Looks like he's falling his artillery back. I think more or less he was concerned maybe about someone charging in. Oh. Suvrov tried going for the artillery. Definitely not going to work. This cow is just pushing them back. I don't know what this is, though. I mean, they're engaged with the enemy. You can't just push through the enemy. Both sides seem to be... This is weird. This is very weird. <laughs> Alright, so even though they threw back Suvorov and Russia, um, they are falling back, and they're doing actually something very wise here. I've done this before with fewer units, especially as the UK, um, when I brought like a very meme-ish meme build of the UK. And when you have fewer troops, spread your line out. Form them into clumps, and uh, the, co like, the enemy have a massive line. They tend to just want to form a big line and shoot at you, but you actually aren't uh, engaging their entire line. We'll see if they do that here. I think they're still just trying to fall back. They they need to reconsolidate, use the artillery to even the odds here a little bit. They have made distance on this flank. Very, very good decision. Um, just trying to inch back where they're losing. Force the enemy to come closer to your guns. The closer they get to your guns, the more men you kill instead of just knock back. Because you know when the artillery hits an enemy unit, um, it will knock them back and kill a couple. The closer you get, the more it just... You just see them get flattened and never get up again. France is falling back in his staggered formation here. They're even throwing some troops next to his LOC. I mean, this is a tournament game after all, guys. You need to hold your LOCs. One point is being held. They're going to probably force some of the coalition to peel troops off to maybe take this LOC. And if they ignore it, then they will push back up and hit the flank. Either way... Portuguese taking some losses here on this side. Their center so very strong. They still got that heavy horse. Now going to go for a brutal back charge. And maybe go further. Oh, that actually could be a big problem. All right, but we see a United Russian front. Suvrov pretty exhausted, so he's probably not going to be pushing as much. Um, he may not have a lot of troops left to push with, but they are going to push up and attack the Bavarian position. I wouldn't even attack this place. There's artillery standing right in front. Push with the UK, form up behind them, and just keep pushing this flank. Go around the artillery. You don't have to go full on with this arty. You're giving them an excuse to get free kills. Almost. Not free kills. But... Bavaria is pretty exhausted. I'm sure they're tired. They're going to have Imperial Guard units that are probably tired as well. Throw themselves up. Maybe uh, try to save face a little bit. Yeah, you can see the, the Coalition is actually going to leave. No, they're not. They're going to try to protect their flank. But they are having to peel off troops to deal with this French attack. Or French defense. At the same time... Oh, man. So, you can see they're trying to, like... They're trying to shrink down the enemy one at a time. And look at this. There's some coalition. Oh, what? We don't know. I had some light if it should come back. And they are fresh, so they are probably resting. They are going to push up here and force the coalition to have to deal with them. There's Cav as well, ready to inflict losses here. We do have some cavalry charging in for the artillery. Can they save it? Yeah. Woo. That was a close one. Russia is getting pretty desperate to get rid of that army. Boobrob is standing right here. I'm surprised they haven't tried to do something. I, they should fall back. 
This is a lot of skirms and a lot of already. Um, it looks like, yep. So Bavaria is going to rest up their troops so they're more combat effective. Keep a reserve. Oh. Oh, no. This is just death. Death on so many fronts, guys. All right, so these life you are going to get some redemption. Hopefully they ran away, but they have come back and they are ready to fight. They may not win, necessarily. Uh, but if anything, they can let the French counterattack and force units to be diverted. And you can see now three units that could be helping push back the French are stuck engaging a French unit in the back. So very good. I'd say I'd take I'd take it. I'd take it. Oh. Cavalry. Cavalry. France may be trying to go for something big here, guys. Oh, a frontal charge on the UK. No. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh. They formed square because of the cab, and now this is France's one moment to shine, guys. This is it. This is it. Using running, your cab to force them into square so they can't stand and shoot. Can they do it some... Uh-oh. We got reinforcing heavy cab from Russia pushing up here. France really wants to close this gap here. Can they do it? At the same time, something's happening over here. Oh my gosh. How did I know something was happening? I don't know. I just suspected it. So we're going to just started mass breaking the UK. So after such an initial success, the UK are just getting torn apart here. Brave Scottish troops getting charged by some Grens, I believe. Yeah, an assault column. They're gonna try to fall back. Over here, this whole combat, so crucial. They broke one, they forced the UK to kind of have to reconsolidate here. They broke only one or two units, so this still isn't looking too good. I would have liked to have seen the French be able to make a more decisive attack, but with enemy cav right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> they are firing directly at this house with their artillery. They're trying to get rid of it. Um, I think, though, for France, this actually may be their lucky break because they are winning on this front now. This assault column of sorts, this infantry, is just pummeling forward. The Imperial Guard sending cab forward. Now, they may hit a square. Yep, they're going to. Um, but, I mean... So here, here's how this is working. And I'll kind of explain this for those of you who don't know. You don't want to ever frontally charge the UK, right? I mean, they can shoot you before you even get to them. If you form them in, in a square, they actually can't shoot that well. And the UK love to form squares. You can ask any UK player what's the best part of being a UK besides, you know, the accuracy and reload skill. It's the squares. Um, any player would love to form squares. If you force them to form a square, they can't shoot as well. So just hover cab, make it look you're charging, and they will, like... You almost see like Waterloo light up in their eyes and they'll start forming squares and then you just charge infantry in. Now I'm not saying it always works and you have to, there's, a, there's a little bit more details on how to do it properly. I'm not saying it's that simple, but um, ooh, France is getting pummeled here. They're trying to make a dent. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, beautiful volley though. We do have some cavalry trying to save the artillery piece. Um, oh, wow. They still form a square. That's impressive. Um, it looks like Russia's going in here. The UK's attack actually starting to really, really... It's it's feeling like it's fumbling. And on this left flank, the UK have totally been broken. I mean, in almost entirely. These Grenadier Cheval now shifting over to this side. They are tired, but their work is not done. They have not yet begun to fight. And Bavaria is now holding the center. We do have more of uh, Ney's troops over here. I think Imperial Guard is going to try to bolster this side. Yep, they have some squares. This cab is going to be a real pain until it is dealt with. We do have a General Omortier. Don't kill yourself. I still hear regular volleys, so you know the fight is still happening over here. I mean, I love how, like, you can barely see the enemy, but you see the flash of musket fire. Love it. All right, here, Russia sent forward their guard as well. So they are going to probably try to drive back the 4E of the line. 
Oh no, the artillery is gonna die. Get him off the guns. That's unfortunate. They're gonna lose the already. Oh well, I'm sure it's done its work. It's done God's work. We still have cavalry here. Still have cav running around. The Grand Cheval is gonna rest up and try to push. France looks like they're gonna leave a small fort. No, actually, they're gonna fall back. The UK is pretty pretty weak. They need to reinforce this side. This side cannot collapse. They have to make a dent in this flank because France is losing. I mean, they are not losing decisively, but they are losing. France has a couple troops over here. Issuing out, I hear bayonet charge. Russia sending for the guard. They're gonna catch these Bavarians. Man, it is just such, it's so imbalanced still, guys. I mean, the coalition has such a good flank going here. They have a lot of Bavarian troops wavering. These guys are probably exhausted, but I mean, they can still do some damage. We do have some, ooh, you gotta be careful there. Okay, they, they stopped it. But they, they, they're wavering and France is going to fall or UK going to follow it up. We do have probably these guys have been running around a lot. These guys are retired. Guaranteed they're going to be tired. They're going to try to go in. There's a square to meet them though. Uh, unfortunately, there's no more squares here. They need to shift over this combat gen. They got to get rid of that cab and the ace up the sleeve for France guys is their Grenadier Cheval. 84 men left. They can still do so much damage. They just have to get them in position. They're winded. They've been resting, but they can't rest too much longer. They have to keep pushing. UK are going to probably try to hold around the artillery. Artillery should probably turn around and fire at these UK, because the UK are here to uh, try to maybe distract as many fresh troops as possible. They're doing exactly what they can. Line infantry from Bavaria trying to bravely hold. They are probably gonna just start dying here, unfortunately. They can't really hold up against the coalition. But here we go. Have charge in. Thankfully, there's routing Bavarians. See, there's, the Bavarians are still trying to help out here. They're trying to stop the enemy cab. <laughs> Beautiful flank, though. Oh my gosh, we just... This is for all the marbles here. Oh, the Baron Cheval. They are running over a ton of UK troops and... Oh my gosh, the mass route. This may be it. That may have been the, the play of the game here, guys. If they can volley the Russian cab in the back, it's over. I mean, they have a flank going, but their whole center just collapsed. Wow. All right, the UK still in this fight, actually embracing the French, but I don't think the French really care. They can always turn the reinforcements around and face them. The Guadalajara Cheval is still very much in this fight as well. See, sometimes it's worth it to bring like a, what is, what, how much, how, how much gold actually is this? 24, 25? I don't even remember exactly how much gold this is, but. Uh, this got leveled with French troops in it, so that is one point for the Imperials. And now, um, man, the UK are doing so well still. Look at this. They're just chewing up the French. There is still 20 minutes left in this replay, guys. France is gonna be, oh man, it's gonna be close. Now they do have, they could easily get to the three-pointer, I think. And that's what they may have to do is get the three-pointer, get, of course, get a four-pointer as well. Um, they just gotta reconsolidate a little bit here. 
They're pushing up their reserves here. They're gonna try to squelch this small UK army. This army is gonna probably try to inflict as many losses as possible. Chasseur Cheval, actually, the Chasseur, very healthy still. And they are gonna start dropping the UK. And Bayonet Charge. Oh, wow, they are getting chopped up as well, though. Oh, uh, going for a Gen. Gen. Yes, they are. Oh, come on. You don't want to... The officer bravely stands. Our men are running for... Oh, he died. Oh, the cab charged in, though. So trying to avenge their comrades, try to save their comrades. Oh man, this fight is so small now, but it's just as like crucial as it was before. France needs to crush this one small UK portion to be able to unite and face. Oh wow, there's so many Russian troops left too. This artillery thankfully can still fire. You can see they have totally turned around. Unfortunately, the positioning they have may not be ideal. Um, me and Bavaria still in this fight. Oh, there's some thick units here, though. Oh, don't go for a bayonet charge. Full front. They're going to take heavy losses. Look how fast they're going to start dropping. 97, 94, 93. Wavering. You can't. Oh man, what is France doing? They're going full front at the UK, and that is bad. Now, uh, unless they routed ammunition for that unit, they should have maybe just held their ground. We'll see. We'll see how this fight goes because it's not over yet. We have some Suvorov grenadiers, impressively. It looks like about 18 or 15 of them. Maybe 20. They are going for a very crucial bayonet charge. If they can break the French artillery, well, then it is over. And they are going up against some... Oh, that's, these guys are fresh. See if they can fire. Oh, bayonet charge them. Come on. Don't let them break the artillery. No, that artillery could save this battle. Firing directly on the flank here. Oh, he's getting the artillery out of there. <sighs> Things look so grim, guys. Very, very grim. No squares. Except for this one square. France doesn't have enough squares. The coalition outnumbers them. There's like, what, one, two, that's one, two, three, four, five line infantry units. Oh, this may be it for the coalition, for the Imperial. Our men are running, sir. Nine, nine coalition. Oh, what a beautiful charge, though. Or uh, a fire. Oh, Greta and Cheval are going for the marbles. They are going in. Maybe. These chasseurs are going to break. They're wavering already. Oh, no. So hard fought. I think... I think, men are running, I think the Coalition's going to win this one. What a sad... What, what a... I'm, I mean, I'd be proud. I'd be very proud of how well I fought. Yes. Oh, beautiful. They just, they, I mean, they obliterated some of the UK, but the UK did win. Wow. What? Wait, wait, what's, what's happening here? I see a lot of UK all of a sudden breaking. That is not possible. <laughs> Impossible, guys. Impossible. They're not going to win. Nah, nah. They're not going to win. And that is the game. Let me just fast forward a little bit. I want to see, I want to see the, the stats. The entire unit is dead, sir. Because this was, oh man, hard fought. Wow. 
that you see um the hdar plants coalition um iz i forget what it stands for i apologize because they're probably gonna be all mad at me now they're like you forgot what our clan stands for i'm like i'm sorry um oh yeah we were this one was submitted by whoever is playing was this a clan battle maybe it wasn't i don't remember now uh but chain mail was the one who had submitted the replay uh to whatever channel he did and i just grabbed it because you know i do that you can see the Grenadier Cheval did beautifully here. 135 kills, the most kills. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, just they didn't get to uh, win this one. Um, unfortunately, I think Udino took some heavy losses going into that forest. Like that, that was that was I didn't even I didn't even notice it happening. Probably I I, I wish I actually knew what had happened there because the uk must have been just waiting for them in like this huge line and just volleyed them i don't know and i know he closed for melee tried to go in and route them and it maybe didn't work but either way well fought on all sides you can see 711 8 and 8 23 probably that uk that's on the flank um 6 19 and 8 granted it's probably a little farming who knows <laughs> But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, you have a great replay, very close replay. Um, I have to kind of say uh, a close replay because um, I love getting replays, but you know, if it's a, a complete wipe of the other enemy, I usually won't do it. It has to be a close battle because otherwise, I you know, I'd have twenty five minute videos all the time and uh, very short battles, and those aren't as fun as the long ones. So, um, yeah. You can send them by my Discord. Um, I try to I try to get a link that doesn't expire from my Discord. Sometimes it does anyway, even though I tell it not to. Um, but anyway, guys, you guys stay safe. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in another video.